Quant Networks could see $1,000 per coin by the end of this year or the end of this market cycle. That's right, it's recently 10X since last November to now, and it's really been trending for obvious reasons on Twitter, on YouTube. There's a lot of people talking about it. And not only that, they're actually talking about the comparisons of Quant Networks to XRP. So I'm going to talk about some of the comparisons and some of the ways they're really not alike. But nonetheless, both of them are now seeing astronomical figures in terms of price predictions for the end of this year, the end of this market cycle. And if you're following the case of the SEC versus Ripple, Brad Garlinghouse, who's the CEO of Ripple, he just filed papers today to actually go after documents that Binance has that he believes will actually help in his specific case against the SEC. So I'm going to tell you what that could mean, what that could mean for the Ripple case as well. Hey everyone, my name is Randy and welcome back to the Late Night Grind. This is a channel that right now I'm covering cryptocurrency news, investment markets, personal finance, and of course the SEC versus Ripple. So if you want to follow along with any of those topics, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I put out videos pretty much on a daily basis. And also don't forget to hit that bell notification icon so YouTube will send you a notification when I release a new video. And of course, I really appreciate all the support that you guys have given this channel so far. If you want to continue supporting the channel, best thing you can do is watch the video all the way to the end and of course, giving it a big thumbs up. It helps out with the YouTube algorithm. If you do that, I greatly appreciate it. All right, guys, so let's jump into it. So first, I want to mention what Brad Garlinghouse just did. He, he filed papers. Uh, his lawyers actually filed papers uh, where he is actually going after information that they believe is held by Binance. Now, why is he doing that? Well, because the SEC has three cases, three lawsuits essentially against them. One versus Ripple, one versus Brad Garlinghouse, the CEO, and one versus Chris Larson, who is an executive at Ripple. Now, what the SEC is claiming that Brad and Chris did, or specifically Brad, was that he sold XRP illegally. And what they and what they claim illegally was that he was selling them to, to people or organizations in the United States. So what they're doing is going after documents that is held by Binance, or what they believe is held by Binance, that will show that Brad sold his XRP to offshore accounts through offshore accounts and not to United States citizens or organizations, which the SEC claims. So basically what they're saying is that, so basically what Brad is doing is trying to get documents that show any of his sales were out of the SEC's jurisdiction and really have nothing to do with the lawsuit that they're bringing against him. So I haven't seen any uh, legal speculation about this yet from James Filan or Jeremy Hogan or several others as well. But as soon as they do, I'm definitely gonna include it in my next video. Uh, my opinion, this is going to, going to help out Brad's case if he's able to do it, if the judge allows them to go after Binance for these certain documents. And I really have no reason to believe that they can't get these documents because pretty much anything that Ripple has asked for, the judge has granted. The judge has really been siding with Ripple this whole time, including Brad and Chris, because, they're, because they seem to be on the right side of things. So I believe once they get those documents, that in conjunction with other things could be used in their case against in their case with Ripple versus the SEC and only bolster their defense. But of course in this video I wanted to talk about quant networks uh, for a couple of reasons. It's really been trending on YouTube, on Twitter, on, on social media and for good reason. It's been uh, skyrocketing over the past couple of months. Uh, since November it's actually 10x. It was actually about 12 to 13 dollars in November. Now it's over 150. It actually almost touched 200 dollars earlier. So of course there is a lot of people looking at quant networks right now saying, well, what is this and why is it and why is it skyrocketing right now? Well, there's a lot of comparisons between quant networks and XRP, but there's a big difference. I can tell you what that is, but there are definitely a lot of similarities. And one of the similarities is its interoperability. And you're going to hear this a lot specific, specifically with Ripple, specifically with the ODL system and specifically with quant networks. Basically what it is, it's a is a software ecosystem that allows blockchains and tokens to interact and work with each other, called an overledger. Not only does it connect blockchains, but it connects private networks as well. Now, this is something Ripple was also talking about, adding sidechain interoperability to the ODL network. And some of the big news recently was that Quant Networks have basically made no bones about it that they're going to be working with CBDCs. In fact, they put out some news clips that say there are a couple CBDCs that will be using Quant Networks as their underlying ecosystem. Again, that sounds a lot like XRP, doesn't it? Well, that's because it is. Now, now the biggest difference between XRP and quant networks and really anything else is the on-demand liquidity. 
it can be used as an instant settlement token, whereas others can't. So while the tokens can play nice together, while their blockchains can play nice together, or at least they can pre be created to play nice together, that's one of the biggest differences right now. So the CEO of Quant actually tweeted out that news about the CBDCs and that he believes 2021 is gonna be the year uh, which CBDCs are really explored and that many countries that are on the forefronts of these are going to be making big pushes into making them into making them a reality. Now what they're gonna be doing is selecting blockchains to run them on. Quant Networks has said there's several. In fact, there's gonna be many that are gonna choose Quant Networks. So it's interesting that a lot of the Bitcoin maxis, as they call them, don't like XRP because they work with banks and central banks. Quant Networks is gonna be in that same boat. But you're going to hear a lot of the same types of things that people who hold XRP say about Quant Networks, and that is there is going to be so much money flowing through because of the use of the interoperability of their token, there's gonna to be so much money flowing through Quant Networks. Same as, the, same as the opinion of XRP holders that there's gonna be so much money flowing through using XRP. But it's interesting, they can both coexist at the same time, because Quant Networks doesn't use doesn't use on-demand liquidity. XRP uses on-demand liquidity, offers instant settlements. So when we're talking about a new global financial structure, the underlying assets like the on-demand liquidity, as well as the ecosystem of Quant Networks that allows for blockchain, blockchain, sidechains, private blockchains to all work together. You can see how once global financials start flowing through this network, it could be, it could absolutely be massive astronomical price increases for XRP and quant networks. But let me know in the comment section below if you are a holder of both, because it's interesting that I see, especially on social media, there's a lot of fighting between uh, Bitcoin people that don't like XRP, XRP people don't like Bitcoin. I actually hold both and I hope they both succeed. They don't necessarily fight after the same market share or even go after the same use case. In fact, not even close. But the same can be said for XRP and quant networks. I think they're actually closely related, but they do such different things that you can actually hold both and cheer for the success of both of them. But let me know in the comments section below, am I missing something completely? So quant networks, a short term analysis says $300 could be, could be seen by the end of the year, but some people are saying, listen, $1,000, that's absolutely likely. That's absolutely could happen by the end of the year. Looking at the technical analysis, the fundamentals, the adoption, I can see how they could be pointing that way. Because in fact, that's only about a seven to eight X of where it is right now. And there's a lot of people saying that if Bitcoin continues its massive run up, the crypto uh, marketplace continues its massive run up for the end of the year, and as of my opinion, into the first quarter of 2022, a 10x for something like a 10x for something like quant could absolutely happen. But this is not financial advice. This is just for educational and entertainment purposes. But I really, really appreciate you guys watching all the way to the end. If you are new to this channel, a lot of times I do cover the SEC versus Ripple case. I cover XRP, but I'm also starting to cover the news uh, such as Cardano, Ethereum, Bitcoin, and of course quant. So if you want to make sure you follow along with all those storylines on a daily basis, hit the subscribe button, click that bell notification icon, and don't forget hit the community tab on my channel. I put polls up there uh, all the time, almost on a daily basis to learn what the, what the, to learn what the community, the late night grind community is actually thinking about some of these different projects. So some of the answers are really interesting. So go ahead, take part in those polls and don't forget to comment down below. Once again, thanks for watching all the way to the end. Thanks for the big thumbs up and I'll see you guys on the next video.